Hi, I'm Richard Mason, and uh, I was just making this video to uh, uh, talk a little bit about uh, some things that I would like y'all to uh, like on Facebook, and some things that I, I think y'all should uh, get interested in. Uh, well, number one, I'll, I'll start with the uh, Middlesboro Farmer's Market. Look that up on Facebook and click like. I'll show it to you here. Got it on my computer. But, it looks like this. And uh, the reason I want you to like it is if you live in the area, uh, we you would know that the Millsboro Farmer's Market tried to start a little while back. Uh, about two or three years ago, and uh, it didn't really work out. Uh, the leadership dropped out, and I've kind of like upkept the Facebook page here uh, because I really would like to see the the market to succeed. And I haven't really given up on it yet, but um, in case you don't know where Middlesboro is, I'll show you on the map. Middlesboro is right there in the corner of Kentucky. And, uh, so go ahead and like that. Um, and, uh, I wanted to post this on face on YouTube just so you guys can give me some tips and pointers because I really are, um, willing to devote my time later uh, to helping this uh, market to succeed in Middlesboro and, and Bell County and um, I wrote down some things I got it on this piece of paper here and some ways to get funding for a council to uh, do the market one of the things that came to my mind I was hesitant to write it down because the last time when the market was working, someone mentioned do paying dues, and it was shot down within two seconds, and uh, it was never brought up again. But I'm going to bring it up again because I feel like if you have a membership and you're a farmer and you have, you have paid a uh, a market, you're probably going to come back because you've, you're paying to be there. So you're going to come back and sell and continue to sell the rest of the year because you're paying to be there, and uh, which is one problem that one problem that the market had last time. People would sh be all fired up and well, I'm going to here be here. I'm here to sell and I'm here to to feed the world and 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 then they would show up for about uh, three or four weeks and then uh, they would quit coming and uh, another thing that I can't thought of is consumer membership like customers that come to the farmers market they can buy maybe uh, a five dollar membership uh, and uh, I thought maybe give them a card you know give them a card uh, saying that they're a uh, official member of the uh, Middlesboro uh, farmers market and uh, which would attract them to uh, come maybe to some meetings if we ever decided to invite customers to meetings <laughs> and uh, also I thought if they could if they could bring their card back and maybe get a punch punch hole hole punch and uh, with a special shape hole punch and punch it, and if you get like four uh, punches, you get a free T-shirt. And I remember last year we had two—not uh, last year, but the last uh, right the year that it ended, we actually had T-shirts that year, and we was selling them for about ten dollars. I thought if you could, if you could sell people a, a five-dollar membership card, and they come four times, and they got a ten-dollar T-shirt out of the deal. And I, if you explain that to the people that they're getting that kind of a deal, they're Pretty, they're more than likely to come back. And um, another idea I thought 
of course, is to get business sponsorships. And not all of these I have listed here are businesses, but it would be great to have their sponsorship nonetheless. Um, DDM is Discover Downtown Middlesbrough, which is uh, something that uh, the residents of Middlesbrough have started to try to uh, fix up uh, the downtown because uh, Walmart and Kroger and the mall on the new mall they've all taken a lot of business away from the downtown, which is inevitably where the Middlesbrough Farmers Market is at. But uh, they're dedicated to bringing business back to downtown, and so it would be good to have them as a partner. And of course, the Chamber of Commerce and uh, the Health Department. But then it would be good to have some business sponsorships that would, could actually donate money, such as Farm Bureau or Tractor Supply, or uh, um, uh, you, it, they wouldn't even have to be agriculture agriculture related. They could. Uh, donate money to us if they felt like it was going to a good cause. Um, a fundraising committee, of course, uh, that would handle all of this. And some farmers, I thought this we wouldn't have to do this. This is really an off the this is really an off the wall idea. Some farmers may choose to donate one or more uh, of their product to the farmers market council to sell for money, which would actually go towards funding this whole endeavor that we're, that all the farmers are sharing. Um, it could go towards a variety of different things, such as advertising or uh, 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 different things, uh, electricity at the at the grounds or something like that or maybe a, a shared uh, uh, scale or something uh, something like that and then marketing and this is just a little list that I came up with um, we could advertise on the radio and uh, there's actually a uh, a program in Bell County where it's actually free to advertise. You just call in and uh, you're on the air and you just state what you're selling and, uh, you're, and there you go, free advertising. And I thought, well, hey, if you could just call in and this explain that, hey, Mid was Middlesbrough's, Middlesbrough Farmer's Market, we got vendors coming down to sell uh, fresh produce and crafts and different things like that. And same with the newspaper, it's a little fee to advertise there. And flyers, we could hand out flyers. Uh, there's a little bit of a cost to think about there. Facebook and Twitter, of course, is totally free. Which I showed you our Facebook page already. Uh, Kentucky Proud, um, we could put an application to our Kentucky Proud, uh, which is a program but exclusive to Kentucky, that helps uh, farmers and uh, anyone who have has a local product in the state of Kentucky can put in an application to Kentucky Proud and you have like benefits, they can offer benefits with uh, marketing and all kinds of different things. and. They they're always good. They also give you a pretty pretty neat label to put on your on your products. Um, I'm gonna skip this one. You know, come back to it. Kentucky tourism, of course. Uh, we actually like three or four blocks down the the way from the Millsboro Farmers Market is actually a uh, the Bell County tourism uh, office. And, you know, if they could include the Millsboro Farmer's Market, maybe not right away, but when we're more successful, that's an idea to get the tourism mark to uh, help us with marketing. Just explain, hey, we're here, we're here, and if you want to stop by the Millsboro Farmer's Market while you're touring Bell County or southeastern Kentucky, stop by. And uh, I wrote down this one because I got an idea, 
uh, I got this idea because I went to the Southern uh, SOG, SOG Conference, which is Sustainable Agriculture and, uh, Workers Group, I think. And they came up, they showed me a regional guide to local attractions, and in this case, they have Taste Buds, which is uh, from Chattanooga. They give you this whole guide to different uh, different farms and markets and places that you can go in the Chattanooga area of Tennessee and and uh, Georgia and Alabama, and it's really neat. They have lots, all these dots of different places that you can go, and it's just a regional guide to uh, local food and locally crafts crafted foods. And it's really nice. I mean, I don't know how much they paid to come up with something like this, but you know, we wouldn't have to make ours as elaborate. But it could, it could uh, market our farmers market and other markets in the area as well. I mean, there's one, uh, Barberville. They could uh, be included in this if they wanted to. This is more of an idea for the region rather than just the Middlesbrough farmers market. And that's all I really have. Um, one last thing, I've got to give you a plug for my farm. My farm, because I wouldn't be human if I didn't. <laughs> uh, switch to it. My farm is Culver Creek Farm, and this is a picture of my sister holding up a a huge tomato. And uh, so go ahead and like it as well. If you've got, if you've made it to all the way to the Middlesbrough Farmers Market, you might as well go to Culver Creek and like us too. Uh, and we post all kinds of new things about what's going on. Like recently, we put in uh, installed a new milking machine. I posted a video of that. And uh, another thing, if you're an agriculture into agriculture. One thing I want to uh, tell you about, now this is Holistic Management International, but uh, I got on Twitter, and I ag-chatted with them. And what you do is you go into Twitter, and you click and type in hashtag ag-chat. And it'll post all kinds of different uh, questions. Ag-chat Foundation will post questions and uh Anyone can participate and answer the questions that they do. I believe they do them do it. They do it every Tuesday, I think, at eight. That's about that's about right. They may change it later, but right now it's every Tuesday at eight. And they always ask very neat questions. And sometimes it's over my head, but <laughs> it's always good to look in and see what's going on in the world of agriculture. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and like me, and uh, you have a nice day.